We're jumping in with some more gaming tactica here, looking at the idea of deployment lockdown. And as we move into this as a framework, underneath this video, in the info box, is a link to my blog where you can check out and download one of my Tactica PDFs that is going to expand upon this idea on a few others, along with a few others. So this idea with deployment lockdown asks the question, when does, when does the game start? We're playing 40K, we're playing Chain of Command, we're playing Battletech, we're playing God Tier. When does the game actually start? And usually there's this idea of turn one. But there's a couple of things that happen before turn one, a couple of things that we can leverage and use to our advantage. And every little advantage that we can get builds momentum. And that momentum, when our opponent makes a mistake, hopefully we can capitalize on it. Of course, we have to be able to, to see the mistake and act upon it. But the first idea is when your opponent is taking out their army, their warband, their armada, looking at it and, and saying, what are they going to try to do? I mean, what's the plan? In Battletech, I start pulling out multiple longbows and multiple LRM carriers. You have an idea of what I'm going to do. I don't even have to pull out the spotters. You know the Karnovs and the Warriors are coming. Um, you know, if we're looking at my warbands and they're all red slayers going to be led by Rangosh, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get up there and just try to smash everything into the ground and just roll volumes and volumes of dice. So we get an idea of the list. And then second to that is this idea of deployment. Now, deployment's a little bit different depending on the mission. Is it historical? Is it narrative? But to summarize it, deployment is my models start on one point of the board. Your models start on the other point of the board and, and we radiate out from the mission. It's like the starting point in the battlefield. And the idea behind deployment is twofold. To deploy your models, your units, your armada, your stands, whatever they're going to be, your elements, and deploy them in such a way that on turn one with movement and shooting and the assault and psychic powers and magic powers, whatever it's going to be, you can put yourself in the best position taking advantage of terrain. And likewise, trying to move out turn one to prevent your opponent from gaining position. So with that framework now, this leads into the idea of deployment lockdown. And we're looking at this again, independent of wargaming system. Look at what you're playing right now. Think about the models that you have. Think about the models and units you were thinking of, of moving out into and answer the question, build the checklist. Okay, what, what would work for this? And of course, in the comments, we could post a couple of units and a couple of systems. So imagine it's turn one. I've got my toys on my side of the table. You've got your toys on your side of the table. And all of a sudden, a bunch of stuff just appears in your deployment zone. A bunch of my units. A, a, a decent amount. A good amount. This is deployment lockdown. Turn one, I bomb your deployment with physical units. So you have to deal with them. You have to deal with them. Now, I can't have all of my army appear there because there's other mission objectives that have to happen. Um, that piece that is going to appear in your deployment zone, and we'll look at a few ideas, it's going to be destroyed. It's going to be destroyed because we're taking maybe 20% of my army, my armada, my battle value, and literally dropping it 100% into yours. It's going to last a turn or two. If it lasts anything beyond that, that's fantastic. And, and the goal of these units, of course, we're going to try and, and kill some of your models, kill some of your units, but the main focus is to stay alive. The main focus is to keep you so busy in that deployment, literally lock down your deployment, that you don't effectively use turn one and turn two to move out, to get key positioning, to take advantage of terrain, to get aspects of the gaming table. If it goes beyond turn two, again, that's, that's even better. If I can get you to turn three, round three, that's even better. So what do you have that can suddenly appear? Are there units within the rules that can teleport in, that can drop pod in, that can move so fast? You know, Battletech, Warriors, and Karnovs, just maximum speed. The fact that they can move and then hover... Turn one, they can be in your deployment zone. Turn one, they can zip across that hex map and they can be right in that, that zone. Um, if we look at ideas with God tier, you know, units that are able to move fast right to the center, dominate, you know, if it's a classic life mission, dominate right in the center 
and just tank there. You know, just just absolutely tank there and lock that down. So this is the idea with deployment lockdown, bombing your opponent's deployment zone with units. You're going to lose them, so we don't want to spend a lot of points, battle value, squadron points, power points, whatever it's going to be, that, that currency, C-bills. Lock it down and then use that over the next couple of turns for an advantage.